Well, back to school time is just about here, and that means back to school uh, crafts for kids. Yeah, Gina Tepper's back with us. She makes great stuff. I love that you do all this yourself because, I mean, some of this stuff looks like you have to buy it in the store. So show us the tricks. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you want to start on this side? What'd you bring? Well, you know, when I was a kid, back to school was so much fun getting all the supplies. It was so exciting. So I thought I'd make it a little more special by having the kids get involved and just so they can add a little touch to it. Uh -huh. So what I did is, is everything from elementary school to the back to school mom. So. This is this, um, since I have a boy and a girl, and actually I'm a self proclaimed geek, I had to make little, <laughs> little, e little alien guys right here. These are cute. These are actually really fun and easy to make. And this is actually a can. So I made this so, so it's. So just like, like a vegetable can. You took that, saved it. Yeah, and then I covered it with scrapbooking paper. This is actually duct tape. It's okay. really Aww. easy to use. Little alien guys. Well, how did you make those little alien These guys? These are really easy. I'll show you how to do it. What's it's that little curly stuff made out of? So that just is take a regular office pen, right? Yeah, and you use a pipe cleaner okay. or chenille, as they call it now. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know this. I still call it a pipe I cleaner. Call it a pipe yeah, it's a pipe cleaner. I know. They changed the name. You sound so sophisticated when you say I know, that. I'm using a chenille. I'm using a chenille. I think it's because it's made out of the same stuff like a chenille. Sweater, sweater or something yeah. it's made out of and they don't want the kids to think you can clean a pipe with it. So <laughs> basically what I did is I took one of these and okay. I, I just cut a little hole in it. What, what are those things? What are these things? These are like the pencil grips. You know, oh, you put it at okay, the end yeah. of your pencil uh -huh. to right. grip. And then what I did is I took a bead and I, what I, I made this little, basically all you have to do is just make the antennas. I put beads on it, looped it through and then put another one, looped it through, put the arms in, and then when you pull it, basically, you make your little guy. You can just <laughs> get it bend the arms, you yeah. can manipulate it. Twist the little head, you draw a little head on, a little face on there. Just make the little arms. That's cute. It's really easy, easy actually. Enough. My daughter, she's like, I want to make these. Oh my these goodness. So cute. And they're like little puppets too. Yeah. So then you can say they have a little friend to do their homework with. So cute. They can do mm -hmm. a little that. collection and name them. Yeah. Right? And nobody at school has one, right? No, they're originals so. though. And oh. then you'll know if somebody took your pen. You'll you be could like, start hey. a trend. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's, that's my little bug guy. So, Very yeah, cute. So. Okay, good. And then for the girls, although my daughter loves the aliens, I made these, which is actually duct tape. Duct tape went and got cool on us. Oh. They have yeah, they have fun. all the colors now. I know, isn't it fun? One for so. you. Like it. Very cute. <laughs> these are for Flower I can power. show you how to make it. This is a um, little terracotta pot that I just covered, and I got some beads. Oops. As you can see, they fall off sometimes if you don't do a really good glue on there. And then I put felt on the bottom so it won't mess up your desk. This is actually good to give to a teacher, too. You could say, oh, I brought you a little flower. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I think a lot of parents feel like, gosh, what do I want to give a teacher? You know, you don't want to yeah. act like you're bribing or giving her good, but at I the know. same time, you want to appreciate her. And that's something, if you, you don't have a lot of money, too, and you can yeah. make it, and it looks nice. I, I, stick it on their desk. I right. could show you how to make it if you want to try for a second. Okay, okay. so th tape. this is the tape? Yep, that's, I cut you a piece of the duct tape. Okay. And all you have to do is just, this is very easy, mm -hmm. take your piece of tape Got and it. just put it right over where the metal is. Okay. And then you put another piece, line it up. Duct tape is actually pretty forgiving, so even if it's a little... You can pull it apart, yeah, redo it. Yeah, and you can just mold it. And then I have these little templates. You can either draw the, um, the flower, oh, okay. but then you just cut it. It's really easy. Okay. Just cut it out. Cut it Trace, you said, and that's how you do it. Yeah, that's really so easy. easy. And then I just use some good glue and just glue a little puff on there. Good stuff They're to do really right now if, you're, if you don't have much to do with your kids yeah. as the summer winds down. Yeah. I want it's a great project to get, get to your, thinking about school, too, right? Yeah. Your binders before we go and the yeah. folders. How'd you jazz them up? This, I just took a regular folder. Now, the binder is easy. This is made to slide something in. So I took some stiff cardstock okay. and I just split it in. Now what I really like about this, you slide it in right here. You have to make sure it's small enough too, otherwise you're going to bend mm -hmm. it. And right, really right, right. Really and then I use this elastic. Whoops. <laughs> and then you just take it and you wrap it around a bunch huh. of times like that. And then what you end up having, if you see, this one right is here. you can put your, um, just hold your little pencils in there. Very nice. And it doubles as a musical instrument. <laughs> so you have that. You can slide it in, and I made a little black one to go with that. Now, Very the thing inventive. is, is that you have these stick-on. What I like to use is these stick-on rhinestones. Mm -hmm. Kids love that though, because they just peel them off and they stick them on, accent the flowers a little bit. Very and cute. That's kind of glittery. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you know you what's nice about these. this is you can change your paper anytime yeah. and make a whole different. Uh, 
look to your binder. Or you could slide pictures of friends friends in there, so you have like a frame almost in a way. So the girls are going to like these little glittery yeah. things. The guys, yeah. what would the guys like instead? Well, you just can any pick kind of any, stickers. yeah, any kind. You can just you know pick whatever paper mm -hmm. you want. Now I did this with this binder. This was just a plain binder, mm -hmm. and I covered it with scrapbooking paper. Once again, I used the duct tape to kind of coordinate, and I even did the whole inside with that. And then glued some rhinestones. Hey, on remember it. when you used to cover your books, and now you can, I guess, you use the duct tape, right? Yeah, this it peels off. How cute! This one is kind of fun. This would be good for like a back-to-school mom because I kind of followed the theme on the inside because that's really pretty. So when you open it up, it's just kind of fun and you know pretty. You and all your wow. very important papers in there in one spot. Boy, yeah, I like that. And then also. Um, I always like to keep my teachers happy and the administration, so I like to use these reusable, because you know, people give you a container and you're like, oh, how do I get it back to them? Yeah. So I like to decorate the top, but the problem with me is I make cookies and they're popping off. <laughs> you know what you I mean? You can bring them right <laughs> over here <laughs> each time you visit, all right? <laughs> right? So the problem is, so I did this Velcro thing on there. I like that. So that way. I think and you just fill it up it. with yeah. some cookies and return it filled. Yeah. Nice well, Gina yeah. Tepper, thanks, thanks for coming so to visit us. We're running out of time, ideas. but we love your ideas.